A woman is in jail tonight after police say she attacked a young woman on Smithfield Street, downtown Pittsburgh, in broad daylight. Thanks for being with us at 6. I'm Kim Gable. I'm Ken Rice. Jessica Gway just spoke with that victim and joins us now live from downtown. Jess. Sophia Mansing was walking to a bus stop on Smithfield Street towards 6th Avenue yesterday afternoon. That's when she says a woman randomly hit her in the head, the back of the head with a shoe, then started following her and then dragged her by her hair into the street and began to punch and kick her in the face. Mansing went to the hospital. She now has a concussion and a broken nose. The assault happened just two blocks from her new internship at Flying Scooter Productions. The USC sophomore just started there a week ago. The company tells KDKA one of the co-owners was forcibly grabbed in a different incident yesterday afternoon outside of the Weston Hotel. Pittsburgh police got a description of the woman who they say attacked Mansing and they found her a few blocks away from here. Sharontea Festa was arrested and charged with aggravated assault and disorderly conduct. The criminal complaint says she stated she was involved in a fight on Smithfield Street and described Mansing. The assault was captured by a city camera and police said the video shows it was clear Festa's intent was to cause severe injuries to Mansing. Mansing tells me the way she felt during the attack will stick with her for a long time. She grabbed me by the hair, pulled me into the street and um, shoved me onto the ground and then started punching and kicking me in the face, in the back of the head. There were a lot of people around that did nothing. That's, that's the one thing that I'm actually mad about, is that nobody, nobody came to help me. It felt awful not being able to defend myself, and I guess just why me out of everybody on the street that day. Um, yeah, I was, I was really shaken up. The co-owners of Flying Scooter Productions say they opened their doors in downtown seven years ago, and they've seen a steady increase in crime, drug dealing, and homelessness in this area. And part of their statement says, we have had enough of the egregious oversight and performative rhetoric. We are asking the elected officials to do what is needed to make Pittsburgh safe, because regardless of what they are telling you, it is far from it, end quote. Mansing says that she's hesitant to come back downtown, but she is going to return to her internship, but she will not take the bus anymore. She's hoping that she'll be able to carpool with a coworker so she doesn't have to walk alone in this area again. We've reached out to the Ganey administration for comment. Uh, we were told a statement would be coming from Pittsburgh Public Safety. We'll keep you updated. Reporting live downtown, Jess Cookway, KDKA News.